three signs that the market is getting used to seven plus percent interest rates. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in. This is Robert Mack with Five Realty and today I wanna to talk about the elephant in the room, the high interest rates. We're seeing rates at seven plus percent when just last year, they were hovering in the three to four percent. And so that's a little bit of a tough pill to swallow and it's definitely affected affordability, but the market moves on and it is what it is. And buyers and sellers are now finding ways to transact despite a lower affordability market. So the first sign is, is home inventory is basically at the very bottom. If you read the Stephen Thomas housing report, you'll see he's scraping the bottom of a peanut butter jar, basically saying, it can't go any lower than it is. There's already super low inventory. So as homeowners get to get comfortable with where the rates are at, they're gonna to start to realize that their motivation is going to start to outweigh the fact that they have a lower interest rate. And they're gonna start listing properties and we're gonna see inventory grow as we approach and go into the new year. Number two, homes are selling faster year over year. Right now, we're seeing homes selling for 20 to 30% faster now versus the same time last year. And that's because buyers are finding creative ways to purchase properties and they're not letting these higher interest rates get in their way. The bottom line is, is we don't know if there's going to be an opportunity to refinance and get a lower rate in the future, but the likelihood of that happening is there. And buyers are starting to feel comfortable buying at a 7% or maybe getting creative and buying down the rate, knowing that they can refinance in the next 12 to 18 months or sooner. And number three, we're seeing lots more negotiations. The cool thing is, is because inventory is low, even though affordability is also low, the best homes, the ones that are priced right, that look great are flying off the shelf. But the ones that aren't, buyers are finding ways to get these homes at significantly better prices or negotiating higher credits to buy down their rate and offset their monthly payment. So the bottom line is, is whether the rates are at 3% or at 7%, homes are selling every single day. And when it comes down to it, whether you're a buyer or a seller, if there's a need to move, you're going to find a way. I've said it in the past and I'll say it again. Buying or selling a home is always motivation plus math. If the motivation is strong enough to make a move and the math pencils out, then it may be the right time. So if you're looking for a specific scenario for us to talk about and you're wondering, is now a great time to buy or sell? You can always reach out to me. My contact information is on the screen or down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate if you would share, like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.